How are you guys doing? Today is Sunday, December 4th, 2022. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, I am going to do an elite individual profile for Blake Snell. The elite starting pitcher for the San Diego Padres is turning 30 today, so my intention for this profile is to lay out what Blake Snell's career has looked like from the moment that he first stepped foot on the mound for the Tampa Bay Rays to where he is right now. He has just finished his second season with the San Diego Padres organization after switching from the American League to the National League. He would leave the American League as a Cy Young winner, um, but even to this date, after he has now played seven seasons in the MLB, he is a player that has at least made the All-Star team once. He has, of course, been named the Cy Young winner in the same year that he would lead the American League and wins in ERA. And of course, he would do a he would have a integral part in helping lead the San Diego Padres right back into the playoffs as they would lose in the NLCS this past year to the Phillies. If you're not familiar with him, he throws left-handed. Of course, he throws with a lot of speed, but I do think that he has a lot of control, and I do think that he has a lot of confidence with his pitches. I do think that this upcoming season, now that he will have a third season coming around playing with the National League, I do have reason to believe that Blake Snell will have a much better season this year coming around than he has in his first two years in San Diego, even though his last year was very very good. Even his first two years were pretty good in terms of what he did with his strikeout. Taking a look first at where he would get started, of course, he would go on and play high school baseball in Washington. And after putting up incredible high school numbers, he will go on and be selected in the first round of the 2011 MLB draft. This would be the draft where Garrett Cole would be taken with the first overall pick. More specifically, he would go on and be taken with the 52nd pick. He was taken in the supplemental first round. He would be drafted by the Tampa Bay Rays, and he would not make his debut for the Tampa Bay Rays until his age 23 season in 2016. His debut season would see him come on the scene and pitch 89 innings for a Tampa Bay Rays team that will go 68 and 94. They would post the least amount of wins that they would post in a full season under the name the Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, They would finish with 12 less wins than the season prior. In that season, Blake Snell would finish with a 6 and 8 record as he posted a 3.54 ERA. In the 89 innings that he pitched in his very first season, he would finish with 98 strikeouts, with nine more strikeouts than innings pitched. And once that season would go on and finish, the Rays would go on and miss the playoffs, as in 2016, they would miss it for the third year in a row. Transitioning into Blake Snell's second year with the Rays, in his age 24 season in 2017, he would go on and start 24 games and pitch 129 innings for a Tampa Bay Rays team that would finish with an 80-82 and 82 record. They had 12 more wins in the year prior as they would still go on and miss the playoffs for what would be the fourth year in a row. That season would see Blake Snell finish with a 5-7 and seven record, finishing with a losing record as a starter for his second year to start out. In the 129 innings he pitched, he would allow 113 hits, which is 16 less hits than innings pitched, the first year that he would allow less hits than he had innings pitched. His 119 strikeouts would be 10 less strikeouts than innings pitched. However, he would grow to be a more integral part of the Rays lineup, even though he would and the Rays would completely miss the playoffs. His third season would be where everything changed for him and the Tampa Bay Rays. His very first season where he would pitch over 30 games and his own loan season in which he would do so would be his age 25 season in 2018. He would start 31 games and pitch 180 innings in a season where the Tampa Bay Rays would finish with a 90 and 72 record. They had 10 more wins in the prior year, but they were still unable to make the playoffs, making it five years in a row that they would miss it. 
Blake Snell, however, would be the Cy Young Award winner in the American League as well as an All-Star that year. He would finish with 21 wins as he had five losses. This is the only season in his career to date that he's had a double-digit amount of wins. His ERA of 189 would be the best in the American League. He had two um, crowns of the Triple Crown, but of course he was just missing strikeouts. In the 180 innings he pitched for the Rays, he would allow 112 hits, which is 68 less hits than innings pitched. Um, that would, of course, be the best ratio that he would have in his career. And his 221 strikeouts would be the only time in his career that he would throw over 200 strikeouts. It would be 41 more strikeouts than innings pitched that year. He would lead the um, American League and ERA plus his ERA of 189 was 117 points better than the average pitcher in the American League giving him an ERA plus of 217 he would lead the American League in hits allowed per nine innings as he allowed five and a half hits per every nine innings he would also finish with 11 strikeouts per nine inning. This would be the first season that he would average a double digit amount of strikeouts per nine innings as he would start a five year streak that he would maintain up until this year. After winning the Cy Young and being named an All-Star for the very first time, like I said, the Rays would miss the playoffs, but of course that fortune would change the very next year. The year after he would win the American League Cy Young, Blake Snell would start 23 games in 2019 in his age 26 season, in a season where the Tampa Bay Rays would finish with a 96-66 and record. They would have six more wins in the prior year. They would clinch the wild card and make it back into the playoffs for the first time in Blake Snell's career. During the regular season, Snell would finish with a 6-8 and eight record. His 429 ERA would be the highest ERA that he would ever record in his uh, career as a starting pitcher in this league. 2019 would see Blake Snell pitch 107 innings, pitch 73 innings less than his Cy Young year in a year where he was moved to the IR or to the um, um, injury reserve because of his left elbow. This season, in the 107 innings he pitched, he would allow 96 hits, which is 11 less hits than innings pitched. He would strike out 147 batters, which is another season when he would strike out at least 40 more batters than he had innings pitched. However, he would not pitch the entirety of the year, and his ERA would be the highest, like I said, it would ever be. Once that 2019 season would come to an end, however, the Rays would end up beating the Athletics in the wild card round before they would lose in the, Atl to, in the American League Division Series to the Houston Astros. In that season, the Houston Astros would go on to the World Series and lose in seven games to the Washington Nationals. This, of course, would lead to Blake Snell's fifth and final season playing with the Tampa Bay Rays during the 2020 season in which the uh, coronavirus would shorten the season, essentially. In his age 27 season with Tampa, um, Blake Snell would start 11 games for a Tampa Bay Rays team that would finish with a 40-20 and 20 record. They had the best record in the American League in this shortened 60-game season season and even though they expanded the playoffs it wouldn't necessarily matter because the Rays were very good as a team this year in 2020 Blake Snell would pitch 50 innings as in those 50 innings he would allow 42 hits eight less hits than innings pitched he would finish with 63 strikeouts which would be 13 more strikeouts than innings pitched he would lead the American League in wild pitches in this shortened season and once the season would end he would see the Tampa Bay Rays go all the way to the World Series first they would beat the Blue Jays in the wild card round two to nothing in the American League Division Series the Rays would end up beating the Yankees 3-2. to They would beat the Astros 7-3 to in the American League Championship Series. And once they made it to the World Series, the Rays would end up losing to the Dodgers 4-2. to In that World Series round, um, he would go on and pitch two games for the Rays. Blake Snell would pitch 10 innings. He would finish with 18 strikeouts in the 10 innings that he pitched. 
Blake Snell would not receive a decision in any one of those games. However, this season, this would be the closest that Blake Snell would get to the title as the LA Dodgers would claim their seventh World Series as a franchise. After his five years with the Tampa Bay Rays, Blake Snell would end up getting traded to the San Diego Padres in exchange for some prospects. His very first season in the National League playing on the Western Coast would be a little bit different and a little bit of an adjustment for him. His sixth season in the MLB would be his first season with the San Diego Padres is in his age 28 season in 2021. He would make 27 stars for a San Diego Padres team that would finish with a 79 and 83 record. They would have nine more wins in their last full season as they would miss the playoffs. In that 2021 season, Snell would finish with a 7-6 and six record, making it a winning season, his very first season in San Diego. He would finish with a 420 ERA, the second highest ERA that he would put together in a full season. He would pitch 128 innings. Even to date, he has not pitched more than 130 innings since his Cy Young season in 2018. In the 128 innings he would pitch in his first season in San Diego, he would allow 101 hits, which is 27 less hits than innings, and he would strike out 170 batters. His 170 batters struck out would be 50 would be 42, I'm sorry, more strikeouts than innings pitched on the year. And then he would go on and finish with a 11.9 strikeouts per nine innings. It will be his fourth year in a row in the MLB in which he would strike out a double-digit amount of batters per nine innings. Once that 2021 season was over, the Padres would miss the playoffs, and it would lead into the most recent season that Blake Snell would play. Blake Snell is coming off of his seventh year in the MLB and his second season with the San Diego Padres. This past season would be his age 29 season, as he would go on and make 24 starts for a San Diego Padres team that will go 89 and 79 and make the playoffs for the second time in a three-year stretch for the first time since Blake Snell got there. Blake Snell would post an 8 and 10 record. His 10 losses would be the first time in a seven-year career that he would post a double-digit amount of losses in an MLB season, especially alongside a single-digit amount of wins. He would finish with a 338 ERA, which is significantly lower than his first season in the National League, and he would pitch as many innings as he did in 2021. In 128 innings, he would allow 103 hits, which is 25 less hits than innings pitched. He would strike out 171 batters as his strikeout and hits numbers were literally almost identical. His 171 strikeouts would be 43 more strikeouts than innings pitched. And once the 2022 season would end, he would, of course, miss the All-Star team, but he would be integral in helping the Padres to the best of his abilities. This past year, the Padres would end up beating the Mets in the wild card round 2-1. to one. In the division series, they would end up beating the Dodgers to make it to the championship series. And in the championship series, they would end up losing to the Phillies 4-1 to one before the Phillies would go to the 2022 World Series and lose in six games to the Astros. That currently brings us to where we are now as Blake Snell is getting ready to enter year three with the Padres as number four as the Padres are starting to look like a serious title contender. But of course, time will tell what will be made of this tenure with Blake Snell in San Diego. With that said, if you ever get a chance to watch him, he's wearing number four for San Diego. And I want to thank the Pro Baseball Reference websites, Wikipedia, ESPN. And I do want to thank everyone for listening to all 13, 14 minutes of this piece. I hope all is well. I want to wish Blake Snell a happy 30th birthday. And with that said, I want to thank everyone for listening. I hope all is well and peace out. I'll catch you with more pieces tomorrow. So until then, peace out.